Hi everybody. Today I'm preparing chicken biryani and there has been a lot of requests to show my way of chicken biryani. And this is how I do it. Uh, I've taken about half a kilo of chicken. I'm going to marinate the chicken with some turmeric and uh, yogurt. I'm going to marinate this chicken for about one hour before preparation. And uh, if possible, you can just pierce the chicken with fork and uh, allow the marination to see through. Then the next process what I'm going to do is uh, now walk. I've gone ahead and heated some oil. To the oil, I'm going to add spices like cinnamon, cloves, cardamom, bay leaf and fennel seeds. So I'm just going to fry all of this. I've also added nutmeg. Uh, once the spices have uh, crackled, I'm going to add uh, garlic and ginger and fry that a bit. And uh, to the garlic and ginger, I'm also going to add uh, one onion, which I have sliced. And I'm going to fry this onion a bit before adding the rest of the ingredients. And I'm also going to add uh, green chilies, fistful of uh, mint leaves and fistful of coriander. I've washed the coriander and mint leaves thoroughly before I have added it to the onions. And I'm just going to fry all of this together. Once the onions and uh, mint, coriander and chilies, everything have fried thoroughly. This is how it looks. Now I'm just going to allow this to cool before I'm going to transfer this to a mixer jar and grind it into a smooth paste. Uh, while grinding this into a smooth paste, you can add a little bit of water. And uh, this is how the masala paste should look like. Now in the same wok, I've gone ahead and added uh, oil and ghee. And I have uh, transferred the ground masala. And I'm going to allow this to cook just a bit till the oil surface is on top. And I'm going to transfer the marinated chicken to the masala and cook the chicken along with the masala. I'm just going to allow the chicken to cook for about 5 minutes. And uh, I'm also going to add a uh, chicken stock cube, water, and salt as per my taste. And I'm going to place a cover and allow the chicken to half cook, and the water should completely reduce. And at that point, you can switch off the stove and uh, set the chicken aside. Now at this point, I've gone ahead and uh, heated a pressure cooker, added ghee and oil to the pressure cooker and I'm just going to fry some spices like bay leaf, cardamom, cinnamon and cloves. I'm just going to allow this to crackle a bit. And uh, I'm also going to add uh, thinly sliced uh, onion and uh, slip green chilies. And I'm going to fry this. The reason why I'm doing this is uh, the onions and spices will give extra flavor to the rice. I have already gone ahead and uh, washed basmati rice and drained the rice. Uh, now I'm going to transfer the basmati rice and fry that along with the onions and chilies. I've also added half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. I'm just going to fry the rice a bit. I'm doing this on a very low flame and uh, I'm also going to add the half cooked chicken to the rice and fry the chicken and rice a bit. Now uh, the measurement for the water which I'm going to add uh, to the rice is for one cup of rice, I'm going to add uh, one and a half cups of water. And I'm also going to add uh, salt. 
lime juice and I'm going to stir everything till well combined place a cover and place a whistle and I'm going to allow this to cook for two whistles the recipe in detail is on my blog and the blog link will be posted in the description box below after two whistles my biryani is done I'm just going to go ahead and mix it once before serving and uh, I'm going to go ahead and serve my biryani with boiled eggs and raita I'll see you soon with the next recipe until then thanks for watching bye bye